guests this morning. Joining us uh, from uh, is from the exotic zoo is Javon Stacks and has some friends to kind of get us in the mood, right? <laughs> yes, yes, we do. Let's see this wow, guy. Look, look at, at the so oh, whoa. Look at this. whoa. 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 Um, Who is this? What we have here, um, he's Harvey. He's the um, Flemish giant bunny rabbit. Um, the Flemish giant bunny rabbit is, is the largest breed bunny rabbit that there is. Um, they can weigh up to 22 pounds. Wow. Um, this one right here is actually, you can rub his, his ears if you like. Oh, beautiful. He, this one here is actually um, 18 pounds. Um, oh, and he, he's a male. The males, they call a buck. So the, the bucks have um, kind of a wider head. They have a wider face. Um, the girl rabbits are a little bit longer than this one that you, that you can see here. Um, the other thing is these rabbits usually um, are used for more meat. Um, Usually for Amish, a lot of Amish families eat them for meat, um, but we have a few other rabbits that we have that we're going to bring out too. Now, are they kind of? They're they're obviously frisky at times. Are they friendly? Um, well, no. <laughs> oh, they're, 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 well, I was I wondering. Know, they're all like this. Yeah. Look oh, no. They're, they're um, actually very friendly. Okay. Naturally, rabbits do not like to be held. Okay. Um, just naturally. Um, this what we have here is called an Angora rabbit. An Angora rabbit actually come from Turkey Angora. Um, they have the the if I could put them on your lap, if you sure. like. Sure. You just don't want to hurt her, 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 her lap. <laughs> After he says they don't like to be <laughs> <Yes>. held. <laughs> Angora, like um, Angora sweaters. Yes, Angora sweaters. Okay. Um, the way, um, what's really unique about the uh, Angora rabbits, if you wanted to use an animal for fur, like a chinchilla or an alligator or something like that for their skin, you have to destroy them. But the Angora rabbit, you can um, use their fur, you can pluck it, you can comb it, or you can also shear it. Um, so you don't have to destroy the animal in order to use their, okay. their fur for sweaters. Um, but they are the um, hairiest one. This one here is actually called the English Angora Rabbit. So they have a little more fur, and he is actually four months old. And his oh. name is called Snowflake. And your exotic named. zoo is really kind of like a traveling exotic zoo, right? Yes, traveling exotic zoo. Um, what we're specializing right now is our cute and cuddly animal show. All animals with fur. Um, for Easter and for spring shows, so I want to bring out some animals for for the um, All for right. the springtime. We're gonna make we have, the switch. Yes, we have another smaller um, bunny rabbit. What we have here, this is called. Oh, uh, yeah, oh you can look this at that! Yeah. All right, we'll That's try this beautiful. One. Who so is th this one? This baby bunny right here is called Tiny. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Tiny Very appropriate. Uh, actually, is a female dwarf bunny rabbit. The the dwarf bunny rabbit is. Um, actually the smallest one and this one comes from the Netherlands they call her Netherland dwarf bunny rabbit this one does not weigh more than two pounds um, she she's actually not going to get any bigger mm. um, so you ever see puppies when they're kind of really cute yeah. and you want to keep them small <laughs> <laughs> with the rabbit we can do that we can keep this one small the way they really got it started is um, they really bred kept breeding the smaller baby bunnies and eventually came out with this um, dwarf bunny rabbit here um, actually people think rabbits have two teeth but they actually have 28 teeth. Mm. Oh, great. That good yeah, that's good to know good as you're holding. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> they're, sharp? they're sharp sometimes, right? Yes, yes. Their, their teeth is really sharp. Actually, rabbit's teeth never, never stop growing. Um, what we're going to add on here, did you want to rub this uh, one? No. Here? Oh, did, did you want to rub Looks good to me. <laughs> I'll stick with this little one. <laughs> yeah. What we have here cute, is, um, it's called a ferret. Um, a ferret is in like the weasel family. They're also okay. related to pole cats. Um, but the, the name ferret actually means to hunt. So name ferret means to hunt, but we're not going to put them too close because they're really trained to, to hunt. hunt. To hunt rabbits. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're trained oh. to hunt rabbits. But okay. this one is domesticated, so um, it's, it's really not going to try to attack them at all. Now, I know you do all kinds of shows. I mean, kids just must love these shows. You've got all kinds of animals. You've got some events coming up, too. Yes, yes. Um, we're going to be at the Northville Library. Um, Clinton Township Library and also the Harper Woods Library where all the public can come out to see the exotic zoo show. If you like to come, we have more animals, you get a chance to touch a bunny rabbit. Um, very, very rare rabbits. It's not the type of rabbit you'll find at a pet store. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, well, now, how'd you get started doing this? Um, actually, when I was a kid, um, I grew up when I was, I was like five years old and I always just naturally liked animals. Um, but as I got older, um, I could keep frogs in my parents' house, but I had to move out <laughs> and get my, I got my first alligator. Yeah. Yes, and we uh, have alligators, snakes. I have over 80 animals in the wow. exotic zoo program. So we bring out anywhere from alligators, snakes, to exotic cats. Um, but just right now, we're, we're advertising a cute and cuddly show. Sure, but The other sure. wildlife animal show is available, too. Um, because we, I want to, instead of owning a pet shop, the traveling zoo, you can see the animals in the zoo. But with the exotic zoo, you're able to touch these animals. And get up um, and close. Yes, I'm more of a hands-on type of guy. I, I go to Detroit Zoo all the time, but 
sometimes I like to put my hands on the animals. <laughs> <laughs> well, Great. Javon, thank you so much. Thanks thank for bringing your friends along. Oh, and we're going to have more me. information on the exotic zoo on our website, WXYZ.com. Just check the scene on 7 section.